Welcome to my talk recording. My name is Martina Fröschel and I am working at the Science Visualization Lab at the Digital Arts Department of the University of Applied Arts in Vienna. My paper has the title Computer Animated Scientific Visualizations in the Immersive Art Installation Noise Aquarium. It is about the collaborative project Noise Aquarium, for which I created the computer animations. The project is a collaboration between the ArtSci Center of the University of California in LA and the Science Visualization Lab of the University of Applied Arts Vienna. The project was initiated by the heads of the respective institutions, Alfred Wendel and Victoria Wesner. First, I have a nice recording about the artistic vision of Victoria Wesner. Then I have a recording of myself talking about how we at the Science Visualization Lab approach the discussed project. Both videos were recorded in the late summer in 2019. And I looked at the animations, they were gorgeous, but I had absolutely no idea what to do. I was involved with another project at that time, Birdsong Diamond, so I was quite busy. But on the side, I was reading and thinking about the plankton and finding out more and more fascinating things about this creature that's at the bottom of our food chain. It started also fascinating me, and uh, I had a project about 10 years ago with that was called Water Bowls, where I was looking actually at underwater noise oil pollution and sound pollution, so I knew a little bit about it, and my question was, how does noise affect these plankton? Uh, we know about dolphins, we know about whales, and it's really shocking to see, and it's kind of logical because they work with sonars, so the, the research on them is well done, and it's quite shocking, of course, but very little, almost nothing is known about plankton. And there is actually one study that shows that where there is uh, fossil fracking going on in Australia, the number of plankton actually decreased radically. Um, another shocking thing is that plankton actually produce 60-70% of the air we breathe. In other words, every fifth breath you take is produced by plankton. I didn't know this. I think most people actually don't. We all assume it's forests, and yet uh, we don't see the plankton. They're so tiny, and we don't hear what's going on under the water. So somehow it's just not part of our reality, but they're producing the oxygen we breathe. This started me thinking about the project, and I uh, thought about blowing up the plankton to be as large as whales and dolphins to make them as important. We have seven species. These species are actually 3D scanned by biologists in Vienna at the University of Vienna uh, and Martina will tell you all the details about it. Uh, I worked on the sound with Paul Geluso at Harvestworks in New York. Uh, Harvestworks is one of the last uh, sound art nonprofits left in New York City, and he is one of the few people that actually specializes in uh, surround sound. So we really wanted to create the noise that is happening underwater and try to create an installation where people have to center themselves in order to bring the plankton to them to see the gorgeous beauty the diversity, and to also think about what this means to us uh, without lecturing, without being didactic, but really experientially. So we had uh, different scans. Uh, you can think of it like uh, when you go to the doctor in the hospital and you get the CT scan of your head, for instance. It's basically the same data, but only higher resolution and uh, uh, and smaller scale, of course. So I got this data and used it uh, for the animation. So what you can see here is the scan, and this is electron microscopy scan. We additionally used uh, these uh, images uh, to see how the animals really look like. 
and then did the computer animations for the noise aquarium installation. So all the plankton that you actually see, all the seven plankton, are actual real animals scanned uh, and then transferred into the computer animation. So here, for instance, is the paramecium. This is a, a animation of the paramecium as it appears in the uh, noise aquarium installation. And we also did underwater noise uh, visualization. So these are actual samples we used for the noise aquarium installation, for the interactive installation with different uh, sound sources like the blasting, explosions, boats, sonar, a different kind of sounds. They all ac accumulate uh, down in the ocean and uh, destroy plankton disturb larger uh, ocean animals and we wanted to show that uh, also the smaller animals um, be become distracted or have uh, development problems uh, when they, uh, ha they are exposed to much noise pollution. The project Noise Aquarium started in September 2016, as you can see in this picture. The topic and the first videos got international attention. The current paper deals mainly with the virtual and augmented reality features of the project. To give you some impressions, I want to show you a short documentation of the video highlights in 2019.
The custom interaction interface is an important part of the concept of Noise Aquarium. At the Klangmoor Shopfair Audio Festival in Switzerland, we had a charming rustic setup of the Noise Aquarium installation. At this festival, we had the chance to record the builders of the platform, Markus List and VR software developer Glenn Bristol give insights into the interaction design. We have here our custom installation. It's a special platform which is connected to our headset, our Vive headset. This is communicating through our PC in the back over here, which is connected to our special sound system, 4.1 surround sound. And the boxes, uh, the speakers are positioned directly at the middle of the platform. And in our platform is uh, underneath a balance board, Nintendo white balance board, it's square, it's like really old. And it's communicating via Bluetooth to our Raspberry Pi, which you can see underneath here. And here's our Raspberry Pi with our battery system connected to 480 LED lights. And the platform is, or the balance board is particularly useful because if we bring it back down, we can stand on this balance board and this will activate the installation. So it's constantly meeting weight measurements in all four corners and translating this into movements, which we then interpret into the VR installation. So the people seeing and hearing is exactly translated to what they're doing on the balance board. And the balance board is really balancing. It's not actually stepping around. It's, a, it's a using your hips and center of gravity to control uh, our plankton in the, in the virtual world. So now I killed the plankton. My balancing was bad. And this destroys the entire ecosystem. All of the plankton are now falling down. And we have sound waves emanating in VR in all directions, which are basically destroying the plankton. And the sound is also very disturbing right now. It's very loud and it's coming from all directions, different underwater sounds which is basically what the animals are hearing underwater. It's very obnoxious and destructive, actually. In the context of the present workshop series on animation in virtual and augmented environments, one of the most important aspects might be how we integrated the computer animated scientific visualizations of the scanned plankton creatures into the virtual reality environment. This can be seen in this figure. <clears throat> the image A shows one frame of the color texture sequence, while B shows one frame of the animated normal map, and C shows a screenshot of the sprite in the Unity viewport, while D and Anaclyph in red cyan rendered with color texture and normal map. We combined various 2D maps on sprites in the Unity viewboard. 
The rendered output is perceived as stereoscopic in the VR goggles. Immersive computer animated scientific visualizations and art installations offer an excellent opportunity to convey topics in a memorable way. In the discussed example of the noise aquarium art installation, the focus is on microscopic plankton organisms. These tomographically scanned microorganisms were visualized in an interdisciplinary project. The implementation of the scientific visualization data in the real-time environment necessary for virtual reality installations posed a challenge. The visual data from the scans was of utmost importance. Therefore, a solution was identified where the visual results of the computer-animated scientific visualizations were modified as little as possible. For more information on the project in general and future exhibitions, please visit www.noiseaquarium.com.